Okay, hello everyone. Um, my name is Gretchen Pauls, your Vice President of Public Relations, and this is your CTSO update for the year. For quarter one, this year has been split, split up into four quarters and we will be sharing the information for the first two quarters. You can find the full year plan by searching for National SCCLA Communications Calendar. Quarter one spans from August to October, and the national goal for this quarter is to grow beyond measure. Some ways that you can get involved in quarter one are to host an FCCLA table at your back to school night, update information on the school website if needed, design a bulletin board, and invite potential new members to an informational meeting. Quarter two spans from November to January, and the national goal is to influence beyond measure. Some ways you can get involved in quarter two is to plan a community service project, celebrate holiday traditions with your family and post pictures on social media with FCCLA hashtags, create a fundraising project to support FCCLA. We have some COVID-19 safe funding ideas and there are lots of other possibilities. Plan and prepare a meal with family and then post pictures with FCCLA hashtags. Hi, I'm Ryan Ripley, your president for this year, and here are your dates for the 2020 to 2021 year. In September, we have executive council from the 23rd to the 25th, and it will be partly virtual and partly in person. In October, will be basic, and it will be virtual, and the date will depend on COVID-19. In November, we have National Con Fall Conference, which has been postponed till next year, and district fall conferences will be determined by each district for their date. In December is Dine-In Day on the 3rd, and that is in honor of our founder, and it is also a day to get together with your families. In January, the district star events will be held before President's Day, and the date is to be determined. In February is the deadline for membership affiliation to participate in star events, and the state officer candidates must be affiliated by the 2nd. Also, FCCLA week is the 8th through the 12th of February. In March on the 1st, the SLC registrations are due. It is the deadline for membership affiliation to participate in Idaho events. The national program awards must be submitted and the state officer candidates and national officer candidate forms must be submitted, all by the 1st again. The advisor award forms are due to state office by the 15th in April, SLC is from the 7th through 9th. Hi, I'm Riley Moore, your Vice President of Development. Um, for BASIC this year, three things to look forward to are important FCCLA information, help with fundraising for your chapters, and year-long planning, and we hope to see you at BASIC. For State Leadership Conference, April 7th through the 9th, we will be celebrating Idaho FCCLA's 75th anniversary, so make sure to start working on your competitions with your students early. Hello, my name is Alexia Schatza, and I am your Vice President of Competitive Events for this year. As a reminder from last year, these events have been changed their names. Advocacy will now be Public Policy Advocate. Applied Math for Culinary Management will now be Culinary Math Management. Environmental Ambassador will now be Sustainability Challenge. Illustrate Talk will now be professional presentation. Recycling and Redesign will now be repurposed and redesigned. And these three events will now be individual or team events, fashion design, repurposed and redesign, and nutrition and wellness. We have three categories, level one, that's through eighth grade, level two, which is grades nine and 10, and level three, which is grades 11 and 12. If you have mixed teams, you are allowed to compete, but you have to compete at your highest level. And our Idaho Competitive Events Advisory Team was started last year. We have three chapter advisory members who serve a three-year term as lead coordinator, assistant lead coordinator, and past lead coordinator. We have two chapter advisors serving a two-year term, two student members serving two-year terms, one VP of Competitive Events who serves the term during the year of office, and one Idaho FCCLA Board of Directors member serving a one-year term. If you're interested in applying, this is the link in the QR code. And changes to state, make sure you are registering for hotel through the registration portal and vacant and pastry will be revisited at the executive council by the board.
Hi, my name is Camilla Rhodes. I'm your Vice President of Outreach of Programs. We are partnering with Military Youth this year. And depending on your area and, and COVID situations, region, there will be regional cookout days with military youth in your local areas, school assemblies to promote awareness of military youth in Idaho, donations going to comfort cases in mil, comfort cases to military youth, and in your reach packet is a letter with information about programs we will be doing with them in further detail. Hi, I'm Maddie Popwell and I'm your first vice president. And this year for FCCLA week, it's going to be February 8th through the 12th. On Monday, February 8th, the theme is Grow Beyond Measure. So you'll share why and how FCCLA has helped you grow beyond measure. On Tuesday, February 9th, it's Influence Beyond Measure. Share who your influences are and how you've influenced others. On Wednesday, February 10th, it's Educate Beyond Measure. Take part in FCS Educator Day and thank all the educators in your life and share how they are beyond measure. On Thursday, February 11th, it's Advocate Beyond Measure. Share how FCCLA has prepared you for your future careers as well as your adult life. And on Friday, February 12th, it's Lead Beyond Measure. Show your FCCLA spirit and read out with FCCLA here. Hi, I'm Natalie Wordle, and I'm your Vice President of Membership and Parliamentary Law. The membership goals for this year are a 10% membership increase, making sure we are recognizing Idaho FCCLA members for all of their hard work, and gain three more affiliated chapters. For our membership gifts, we just want to remind you that we, you distribute them to the students who are affiliated with Idaho FCCLA to thank them for taking part of the Ultimate Leadership Experience. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Danielson, your VP of Finance. And this year we're gonna be having merch boxes and we're gonna be having a gold, which is the large for 35, and it is gonna have a hat or visor, socks, lanyard, fanny pack, stickers or pins, and three mystery items. The silver is the medium for 25, and it's gonna have socks, a phone wallet, a drawstring bag, pins, a lanyard, a water bottle, and two mystery items. The bronze is the small for 15, and it's gonna have pins, a phone wallet, notebook, pencils, and one mystery item. The advisors can also purchase their own, which is $50. It comes with a cardigan, mug, st stickers, and pens. This year, it's a little bit more difficult to fundraise during COVID-19. So here are some cool ideas to fundraise with your chapters. Making and selling masks or stickers, selling soap and hand sanitizer in your community and your school, online, online fundraising, virtual walk or run, virtual online shopping, virtual cooking lessons, virtual raffle or fundraiser, and then a GoFundMe page. Hello, my name is Charlotte Brockman, and I'm currently serving as the National Liaison for Idaho FCCLA. Today, or this year, Idaho FCCLA will be working with the Idaho FCCLA Alumni Foundation, and we are excited to connect with alumni from all over the state. To help us celebrate our 75th, help us connect with our alumni. The Idaho Alumni Foundation has a Facebook group to allow alumni to connect. Also, if you know of any FCCLA alumni or FHA alumni who would like to get more involved, please send their contact information to National Liaison at IdahoFCCLA.org. Hello, I'm Jared Sherman, your Vice President of Engagement, and this year is Idaho FCCLA's 75th anniversary and we can't wait to celebrate it with you all year long. Thank you all so much for attending. We really appreciate it. Have a great week. All of our stuff will be sent out by Lisa following the end of this presentation and on our website.